John Cassidy here, and today we are at the Haunted and Historic Variety Theater. So we're going to walk through, see what it's like, and see what's left. So let's check it out. The Variety Theater was opened by Sam Stecker, Meyer Fine, and Abe Kramer on November 24, 1927. The Variety Amusement Company operated the 20,000 square foot, 1,900 seat facility. Designed by Cleveland architect Nicola Petty, the two-story Spanish Gothic style building boasted a Kimball organ, a 350-seat balcony, and an orchestra pit. The walls and ceiling were adorned with cut glass chandeliers, marble, brass, and tapestries and fireproof Rackel art stone was used for ornamental work. Outside were eight storefronts and 13 600 square foot one bedroom apartments. The new variety was finalized at a cost of $2 million, which was a lot of money back in the day. The theater was sold to Warner Bros. in 1929 and became a Warner Bros. theater. A tornado in 1953 damaged the building, which required the removal of the marquee, which was not replaced. The variety was sold to realtors Edward and William Wargo for $500,000 in 1954. The venue continued to be operated by Community Circuit Theaters Company until 1976 when it was acquired by Russell Cause, who managed the site as a second-run movie house. The variety began to be used as a showstopper for heavy metal rock bands in April of 1985. Touring bands included Metallica, The Dead Kennedys, and Motorhead. During a Motorhead appearance in the fall, portions of the plaster ceiling collapsed on patrons due to the level of noise. The variety closed in September of 1986 after several noise complaints. The theater's last use was as the Cleveland's WrestlePlex until 1990. This is one of the old apartments. Here. Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah. Here's the bathroom, guys. And wow, this place is in really rough shape. There's a really cool old Pepsi machine over here. This is supposed to be where the dressing rooms are, guys. We're gonna walk down and see. It's really creepy basement.
There's another old bathroom, guys. Old, like, marbling, and these doors are definitely old. No toilet on this one, or any of these. Okay. So this was the manager's office. There's an old desk and a really cool Pepsi sign. And there's also a door to get out. West Town Community Development Corporation, a nonprofit neighborhood organization spearheaded by Michael Ripich of American Tank and Manufacturing, acquired the Dormant Variety Theater on June 12, 2009. The national recession, however, made financial lending nearly impossible for the proposed $8 million renovation. They raised about $1 million in private financing and gathered more than $200,000 in federal funds for the variety, but it was not enough. Facing funding challenges, Friends of the Variety Theater took over restoration efforts for the variety. The organization applied for a state historic tax credit in 2014, but was rejected. It amended its application in December of 2015 and was awarded $1.4 million in tax credits. Plan detailed in the form noted that the first floor would be renovated into a restaurant and entertainment venue operated by Cleveland restauranter Tony George. The upstairs area shown here would be restored into a movie theater. On September 13, 2016, the National Trust for Historic Preservation announced that the variety was the winner of this Place Matters Awareness campaign. Installation of a new marquee designed to be a replica of the original was completed on September 24. The 28-foot, 2,280 LED bulb marquee was fabricated by Wagner Sign, funded by 110000 in neighborhood development funding. A $100,000 grant from First Energy Corporation was used to bring electricity into the variety. So this was the projector room, guys. And there's some old equipment in here and stuff. There's even like a little bathroom here in case whoever was running the projectors had to take a poop. So that's the history of the historic Variety Theater. 
And that's going to conclude my documentary and tour. Be sure to leave a like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching, everyone.